welcome uh, to the uh, first uh, uh, chapter of the course. Okay. Uh, we have given the preview of the first chapter uh, in, this, uh, uh, in the earlier lecture and uh, we told that we will cover uh, the function and this graph and the solution of equations in uh, part one in the first week. And I introduced you yeah, that, that we're going to cover uh, these functions and graph of uh, functions uh, that includes polynomial and rational and trigonometric and exponential and logarithmic uh, functions. Mm -hmm. and today, yeah, we will uh, study that first uh, and then in the next lecture, uh, that we will cover the solutions of equations. Yeah, I introduced uh, the web contents of our textbook and the lab, practice lab uh, uh, for us too. Mm -hmm. Okay, then the, the, these are the uh, what we're gonna learn. And if you go through it, then you will be very successful uh, to uh, pass uh, this course. Okay, yeah, we will start with math and coding uh, before uh, we before we start to draw the graph of a function. And what, uh, in, ad in addition to the introductory mathematics for AI content, I already, I, I also recently made the, the English uh, 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 version of my lectures. Mm -hmm. And so it may help you. In this web address, then you will see uh, this content mm -hmm. here, yeah, I introduced what I'm going to do on this lecture uh, uh, for you here. Uh, yeah, here the solution of equations, and an equation is a statement that asserts the equal uh, the equality of two expressions, so it becomes true or false depending on the value of variables. Uh, in addition to the Korean explanation. Uh, for, if you can go through all this, uh, then it will be much easier uh, to understand it. But now I'm going to uh, teach uh, you what uh, we're supposed to do uh, in this uh, part one. Uh, okay. Before uh, we start, I give an emphasis on uh, math and coding. Yeah. Uh, this, uh, you can find uh, the, um, the web content uh, that I made uh, for you uh, on this website uh, to go through in big picture to understand uh, the whole content of this semester. Mm -hmm. And then you will see why our approach to understand the mathematical concept and to solve the problems by hand on small size matrix and data and function, but we need the code to deal with the large size matrix and data and the multi variable functions. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to start the functions and its graph. Mm -hmm. Today we will cover uh, the first five sections of the, of the part chapter one, and then we will continue. Okay, yeah, we will define the function and domain and codomain and range. Mm -hmm. And uh, I give you some uh, extra content that you're going to uh, practice more, including the SKK usage grapher. Mm -hmm. And then we will continue the solution of equations here. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, we start the part one, yeah. basic mathematics for AI function, 
the graph and solutions of equations. Mm -hmm. In this first chapter, we start to draw graph of any given function f of x, then we learn how to find the solution of equations of, of f of x is equal to 0, or f of x is equal to g of x. Then we see how to point out the point, which is a solution, an approximate mm -hmm. So we start with the graph of a function. Section 1.1, functions and its graph. The relationship in which the value of two variables, x and y, is uniquely determined according to the value is called a function, f. And it is exp expressed as y is equal to f of x. The function can be sort of a magic box or factory where the value of y is produced when the value of x is supplied. As shown in the following figure, if x input x, then y produced output. So y is equal to f of x. Mm -hmm. okay, for a function y, f from x to y, the domain of f is the set x, which all the input of a function is constrained. And the set of images, f of x, the set of images, uh, which consists of y in capital Y, that y is equal to f of x for each uh, little x in capital X. This set, this set, this set of images is called the range, the range of f, where y is the co-domain of f. And all points of ordered set, ordered pairs x and y, in the coordinate plane makes a graph of a function y is equal to f of x. Okay? So here, x is the domain and y is the co-domain. And then the set of images, the set of f of x, is all set of images, set of all images of f on the x is called the range. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. you must have learned it uh, from the middle school and high school years. Yeah. And you have covered uh, such a functions, including polynomial functions, and rational functions, and trigonometric functions, and exponential functions, and log functions. Mm -hmm. yeah, we will take a look at each of these functions. Polynomial functions first. Function f of x is a polynomial of x. It's called a polynomial function. Most well-known polynomial functions are following. The first, a, a linear function, y is equal to mx plus b. Here, m is a slope and b is the y-intercept. Okay. Next, quadratic function, mm -hmm. ax squared plus bx plus c. Okay. Next, the nth order polynomial is a polynomial uh, which the highest order is uh, n. Mm -hmm. Here, we can think of the fourth order uh, polynomial, x to the fourth minus 7, x squared plus 2x minus 1. And we can plot, we can draw the graph of it in the interval like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. If we The uh, big picture, then yeah, we will see the graph looks like this. You can easily uh, draw the graph of a function of any type, polynomial of seventh degree, mm -hmm. seven, and seventh order uh, polynomial uh, can be uh, drawn in here. So you can draw the, any of the graph that you like. So if you wanna draw the graph of what? Ninth order polynomial, then all you have to do is put that function in here with the plot command, then you will have the graph 
of the any polynomial that you have seen. Next, rational functions are functions of x that are rational, where the, uh, the numerator and denominators are both polynomials. Okay. For example, y is equal to 1 over x, or y is equal to 2x to the first minus x squared plus 1 over x squared minus 2, something like this. The, this is a polynomial function. And the, the each of the, the numerator and denominators are both uh, polynomial, so this function is a rational function. The, the graph is like this. So you can uh, draw the graph of rational functions without any difficulties. And if you have a polynomials, f of x and g of x, you can have an inner bar, then yeah, you will have a, a graph like this. Mm -hmm. And trigonometric functions. Most popular trigonometric functions are as following. y is equal to sine x or y is equal to cosine x. Sine x or cosine x can be drawn in here in the interval from minus 2 pi to pi. The blue one is a sine function and the green and the red one is a cosine function. If you change it, It's a tangent, and if you have the, some more frequency, if you change the graph, the, the, the polynomial uh, trigonometry function, then you will have a uh, different uh, function, different graph. Cosine function, if you have two sharp, two times the cosine function, then you will have such a function like this. So anyway, yeah, you can draw, you can draw the I mean, interesting uh, graph of a trigonometric function. For the tangent function, yeah, if you want to have a sketch of it, the plot code gives you the uh, graph of the tangent functions like this. And here, as you see, it, 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 there's a kind of, it is a periodical function, as you see. And here you see the asymptotic line. If you want to do the asymptotic line, yeah, we, all you have to do is put this command, detect poles, then it will show you those asymptotic lines in your uh, graph. And since this trigonometric function is a periodic function, so the, period, the specific periodic pattern is repeated, as you see here. And here, the sine and cosine has a period 2 pi, uh, but uh, tangent has the period uh, pi. Mm -hmm. okay. But uh, since it's a periodic function, so a tip to tip lines uh, for the tangent function, can be found in here as n pi plus pi over 2 for each uh, integer n. And, uh, there are many asymptotic lines. Mm. Okay, here's an open problem for you. So, sketch the graph of the function y is equal to x times sine 1 over x or others. So all you have to do is copy this uh, in this box and paste it, then x times sine 1 over x uh, between minus 2 to 2, okay. then you will have the graph like this. If you want to magnify it, uh, then you, yeah, when you have what? You have 1 instead of 2, then you will have the bigger graph of it. If you have what? More much bigger one, 10 times bigger graph, then you will have kind of uh, magnification of the functions like this. It's, it's kind of a telescope view of the graph that you got by only changing the numbers in the code. You can practice those in here. Uh -huh. 
see here uh, in the empty box uh, you can practice the same thing in here in here yeah you can practice with the sage code that I gave you or Python code or R code yeah, whatever and here you know one plus one if you change those and uh, this sage command give you two and Python command gives you mm -hmm. yeah. uh, for example in here if you practice it uh, in R code that gives you the answers like this so anyway whatever you have whatever code you have yeah, you can practice uh, in here uh, next exponential and logarithmic functions logarithmic functions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, for any real number x uh, y is equal to a to the x where a is bigger than 0 and a is not 1 is called an exponential function of x with the base a okay this exponential function is an increasing function when a is bigger than 1 and is a decreasing function when a is between uh, 0 and 1. As you see, when a is equal to 2, then you will see it is an increasing function, mm -hmm. like this. But when a is equal to uh, 1 over 3, uh, between 0 and 1, then you will see that is a decreasing function, like this. For an arbitrary real number, x, then y is equal to... Uh, y is equal to log uh, a of, of x where a is bigger than 0 and a is not 1 is called the logarithmic function with base a and exponent x. This logarithmic function is an inverse function of the exponential function. You can easily uh, see it. Uh -huh. You will see the graph of it. The log function uh, can be uh, defined only when x is bigger than 0. Yeah. Here, when uh, base is 2 and exponent is x, yeah, then you will see this is an increasing function, and that's the uh, inverse function of what you had. And when base is uh, 1 over 3, then you will see that it's a decreasing function of that logarithmic uh, uh, functions. <laughs> yeah, you can uh, now uh, find the sketch of the graph for uh, any composite function you have seen uh, from the earlier uh, study of yours uh, from high school or at college or any major and you can draw the most of the, uh, the function you can uh, draw the most of the functions that you have learned and even the complete function of those and also the yeah uh, those uh, the functions and graphs and coding and these are the, some articles uh, that I wrote uh, on uh, the mass Donga, uh, a junior of polymath here, the study, uh, the, the function and graph with coding. And here, I give some uh, history and some basic explanation of code for junior high student. To, shoot, to draw the graph of a line and graph of the quadratic functions at square and uh, the, the trigonometric functions and logarithmic functions and exponential functions all that can be uh, drawn with this and uh, and yeah, you can find, uh, yeah. so what you have learned today is kind of stuff that you have, uh, that other uh, junior high school students uh, already uh, can handle it. So you should, uh, aware, should be aware of it. And also the graph of various functions on this website, it shows uh, how that, uh, that not only the draw the graph of this quadratic function, but also yeah, you can uh, type the text in the graph 
and you can draw the graph and the explanation of the graph in inside of it. And also, yeah, you can draw the graph of the cubic functions like this and power and trigonometric functions. This is a graph of tangent x and this is a graph of secant x. You can draw the many cotangent graph can be drawn in here, exponential functions. And also, yeah, as the base changes, uh, base changes as uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, yeah, you will see how the graph is changes. The slope has been changed. We can draw not only what we have learned, then also we can draw the graph of transcendental functions such as x to the pi and x to the x and uh, many others. So th the what you have learned today is a very important. And also, uh, this is the tool graph that I made for you. And this shows how the x sine uh, 1 of x graph and also the cosine uh, x plus c when a, b, c are all ones. And you can, uh, we can change it. We can draw the different graph like this by change to sliding this. And also, also we can, we can change the, uh, the speed of animation and we will see how the graph is changed as this value A changes. And this is a graph of f of x and g of x together. This animation can be downloaded in here. Then we can have downloaded graph here. Then you will see you know, this graph can be viewed as, a, as an animation. Not only for that, uh, you can in a new paper, if you put it in here, then you will see you can easily make your report by the, the graph of it. Here, this is a graph of sine 1 over x and da, da, da. So you can make a report of it to explain it. So there are many things that you can do uh, with uh, what I have made for you. I think that's for uh, this first lecture. And now we will, uh, next we will continue the solution of the equations. Okay, here, solution of the spatials. So I think I gave you some homework for that and find the, the exposed uh, okay. Then we will continue. Mm -hmm. After this, yeah, we have covered up to this point, and we will continue the solution of equations. Okay, if you have any question, feel free to ask it in uh, the Uri I campus, our I campus uh, Q and A uh, discussions. Thank you.